it's lovely being back um, doing, uh, having made Deep State 2 because I think the story has sort of uh, opened up as uh, if you've watched season one, it was very much about, you know, um, the family drama with Joe and his father daddy and issues. daddy issues, which he may or may not still have. Um, and yes, yeah, season two is sort of we meet a whole plethora of new characters and the story just really just opens up and we're sort of time jumping between past and present. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it, it was, it, for me personally, it was a little bit more exciting to shoot just yeah. because you, we were all over the place. So. It feels like, yeah, it feels like the story kind of expands in, in scope. It felt like, um, it felt like in season one, I think we, we discussed this when we were shooting it, it felt, it felt like the story kind of started quite broad, mm -hmm. like the conspiracy started quite broad and then it narrowed down as we kind of got to the heart of it. Whereas it feels like with season two, it, it starts as something that seems fairly innocuous or fairly, you know, fairly par for the course in these, these parts of the world, sadly at the moment, but then it kind of, it continues to expand as the, as the season goes on. And I think, you know, we live, it seems like every year, the, you know, the times in which we live get slightly more febrile again, unfortunately. So I think it's a, yeah, we still feel like it's, it's, it's very relevant and something that needs to be talked about. I'm not getting involved. Says the man in the gated villa on one of the poorest nations on earth. We don't film anything in, chronolog in chronological order at yeah. all. But I think it, it, it made it a little bit more exciting for us as actors because, you know, from day to day you're, you're, you're swapping time. And so it, I don't know, it, it personally for me, it kept me feeling a little more alive and it meant we had to do a toes. lot of reading, right? A lot of reading <laughs> we and reading. We had to re like reread re -read re episodes. Re -read. I mean, we've, in season one. Do you, yeah, I was about to say, do you, do you find, I found season one far more difficult to keep up with see, I, than season two. See, I didn't. And I, I, th I think you're right in that, I think when it's all put together, season two will be slightly easier to follow because of the split timeline. You know, I think it's going to be very distinct for the viewer in terms of where we are, in yeah. the, you know, which narrative we're following at certain points. The locations are so different, so it yeah. sort of helps. But the reading of it, I mean, I think in season one, we were probably rereading the scripts like on a weekly basis. <laughs> I, it was crazy. nightly on season two <laughs> for me. It was like just yeah. head spinning, trying to work out where where you were at various points. But, but I think once it's all put together, I think it'll actually be fairly straightforward. George, good to see you. And you. When did they put you down here? Uh, a couple of months ago. I've always said daylight's overrated. We've, we've got some issues. Yeah. On and off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Family issues out the window, relationship issues very much in the window. But I mean, that's, that's drama, isn't it? We, 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 we need to see if we will these characters to kind of be together or or not, but they, 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 you know, they're, they're working in a very, very challenging world. So but the I think relationship that's what, is... I think that's what makes it interesting, isn't it? It's like, you, we've all seen, you know, many spy thrillers, and I think that the difficult, difficulty with a lot of the characters, uh, or for a lot of the writers that, that write these, these spy dramas, is that you need to find a way to humanise them in some way, yeah. shape or form. You know, that yes, you're seeing them in very extreme situations, but the whole point being, they're highly trained individuals, so they're, they've got the tools with which to, to cope in these environments. But you have to, it, so it's their relationships with other people, genuine relationships with other people, that allow you to see through the cracks in that. And I think that's, that's the interesting part, you know, and that's the main, th at the beginning of season two, neither of us are with MI6 at this point. We're not spies anymore, <laughs> you know. I came out here to get away from all that. No, you came out here to crawl under a rock, Harry. A luxurious, well-paid rock, I'll give you that. There's always like something that goes awry between one, of, with one or the other of us yeah. on Deep State, and this year it was my turn. We were shooting a scene where we were trying to escape from, uh, from some nefarious sorts that are, that are on our tail, and we did... It involves jumping over a wall, <laughs> right? Simple as that. And uh, we did the first take, and it went pretty well, didn't it? It went pretty well. Yeah. To the point where, like, even the stunt team were there going, well, we don't even know why we're here. I mean, you guys have clearly got this down. <laughs> and as Karima said, got a bit cocky, didn't I? And uh, stacked it next time. And uh, I mean, 
I saw that anything. fall. It was it was so dangerous. It was it like there was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grace is not the word I would use. He to got describe. his foot caught on um, the barbed wire and did a sort of backflip. That makes it Missed sound way more wall. heroic than it was. I mean, the, the fact that you survived is, is what we care about here. Mm. He missed the wall by, by a couple of inches. That, yeah. that could have been so much worse yeah, than it actually been. was. But yeah. you know, you did pick up and you were a good sport. You, you ran through those weeds. <laughs> I ran a bit later on, and it, but I mean, I let my ankle. stunt double do the rest. <laughs> for that particular one. We filmed in South Africa, we filmed in Morocco, and the UK, yeah, I mean, it was, it's, it's, a, it's an actor's dream to be able to go and spend a couple of months in each of these locations. Um, and Morocco, for me, is, is, is home. So, I, I mean, I was very comfortable. And... Yeah, she's the, our deep state barter artist whenever I'm in Morocco. Make sure no one gets too, you know, too shafted. I'm very protective. Yeah, yeah. You get a good deal on a Moroccan carpet if you're with Kruma <laughs> McAdam. Mm, do I like the sound of that? Probably <laughs> not. The places that we chose to shoot in, uh, Cape Town and various parts of Morocco and then, and in the UK, you know, like they're 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 all doubling for for somewhere else where there are, you know, far more political. There's far more political turmoil, I guess. Um, because, you know, you can't really shoot in places where there is a lot of political turmoil. So, I mean, I guess the, it's actually quite interesting seeing other people's reaction to the things that we're shooting there. You know, there, we, we had some setups that were involved some fairly intimidating looking extras. And, um, and yeah, and, and to see sort of passers-by wondering what the hell was going on, I think um, <laughs> that, that was... That was pretty intriguing because we didn't have to. We didn't have to, any of the places we were in. We didn't really have to worry, but I'd imagine that some of the things that we were shooting made some of the locals yeah. worry. Do you remember when we were um, we were in the desert and um, there was this? We had loads of Al Qaeda, Ansar al Din, Ansar al Din, and and all these terrorist groups. And all of a sudden, there was a convoy of um, tourists going by. <laughs> they were just glued. <laughs> To the, yeah. to the windows, put, wondering. Yeah, but put I mean, the pedal to the metal. They weren't scared, though. All of them got their phones out. and I mean, had it been me, I would have just hit the gas.